What's up, guys? Oswald Hell. So there have been some new announcements for Project Diablo 2. The best way to play Diablo. Right next to Diablo Immortal, of course. But check this out. Open beta. June 20th to the 21st. I'm not going to play that. I don't think I'm going to. I never played the beta. I only do alpha shit. Project Diablo 2 Season 5 will begin June 24th at 10 a.m. PST. Okay. So just a couple announcements with us. A couple changes since the last video that I made. First of which, check this out. A frenzy barbarian who's a mercenary? Are you kidding me? Look. Does he battle orders? Holy toad! I think he battle orders. See, they're trying to... I think they're trying to one-up the uh, D2R Frenzy Barb. I'm sorry, this is a whirlwind barbarian. This is it's my first sip of coffee in the morning. Right? And it's very nice. I love that black insidious liquid in the morning. It's great. Deceptively great. But Act 5 Mercenary with Whirlwind, Battle Cry, and Battle Orders. We'll check if allies are missing BO and cast as needed. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, and of course, in PD2, Battle Orders, it's not as powerful as what it is in D2R, for example. It now just gets a... It, it gives a set amount of base mana and base life. I mean, it'll be nice to have, but... It's not going to be like super OP or anything, uh, which is probably a good thing because otherwise we're all going to want to use that mercenary, uh, which is why they do it that way. So map events will now display a text message in chat when you encounter them. I, I didn't really realize there were events in maps. Did I even map much in season four? I don't remember. I mapped just a little bit, but okay. So now like maybe when you like get to a boss, it'll be like a text then everyone in your group will know something like that. I don't know. Map events will now have a more noticeable cross icon on the mini-map. The Shadow of Mendel Mendeln event has been reworked to now continuously spawn undead instead of spawning them in waves and now drops loot at the end of the event instead of from the skeletons themselves. Don't really know what that is. Added a new event, Spire of Darkness. This event presents a dark obelisk. That when activated turns the entire zone pitch black? As you explore the zone, you will encounter shadows leaving the darkness, which have a chance to drop uber keys on death. How are you going to see? It's pitch black? How are you going to see? Are you going to see your character? I still going to be able to see your character. Okay. I mean, we'll give it a try. Added a new material. Larzux Puzzle Peeth. This is a good idea. I already saw this one, actually. Which functions the same as a Larzux puzzle box, but cannot be used on unique or set items. This item will have half the rarity of a puzzle box. So this is a great thing. This is something that uh, incentivizes us to just, you know, maybe maybe buff up a nice rare or magic item that we found on our way, you know, during the journey. You know what I mean? Just like, because uh, you generally wouldn't want to use it on a shitty rare item that you found. You want to save those large like, puzzle boxes for something great. A Shaco or whatever. A nice armor. A Tal armor. Whatever. But these ones you can't use them on uniques or sets. So they're pretty much just going to be there. They're going to be cheaper. They're they're half the rarity. So they're twice as common. And uh, yeah, they're made for magics and rares. I think that's a great idea. Hell yeah. Okay, so Cyclone armor and bone armor now gain Plus two absorb per energy. Soft points. Uh, a bit more incentive to use that shit. I never use that stuff, but that'll be good. I actually might make a droid. I, I'm thinking about making a droid. What are you guys going to make uh, for Season 5 to start? Yeah, I, I might make a droid. I don't know. Because they have some versatility to them. You can be a summoner. You can be wind NATO. You can even be fire. I might try fire. I'm going to look into a little bit more how that is as a starter. I know it's not optimal, but I'm going to see how doable it is. 
I mean, maybe I'll just uh, go summon. But we'll see. Infinity Cyclone Armor Zero Skill has been replaced with 2% chance to cast level 5 Cyclone Armor on casting. Oh. Okay. On casting. Um, so if you're wearing it as a sorceress or something, you'll be able to have Cyclone Armor. Sounds alright to me. I don't know what other use that would have. Your mercenary is not casting anything. Not your Act 2 mercenary anyway, who's going to be wielding the infinity. Yep! Neophyte? Is that how you say it? Neo Neophyte is now available. What the hell is that? Is now available. I think I opened it right here. <laughs> is now available in Claws and now requires Thull plus Tur. Instead of hell plus tur. Okay, I'll show you guys what that is. So this is a new rune word. Hell tur. It's nothing that great. I'll show you in just a minute. Because come to think of it, it's it's down below here. I only looked at a couple of these. Rampage now requires shale el ith eth instead of shale el ith shale. Oh, that's great. Because that rune word, yeah, I thought... Those shells are nice. Now, I didn't really want to have to waste two on making that rune word. I'll show you guys what that is as well. Shell L Ith Eth. So it's 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 cheaper runes, basically. The shell. I mean the shells are nice initially. So I didn't really want to have to use two of them to make this damn thing. I probably wouldn't have made it, but now I might make it. A four socketed pole, I believe. Maybe spear? I'm not sure. If that can go into spear or not, let me know in the comments below. The item will maintain its 65% increased attack speed. Yep. See, that's a nice attribute about it. But now has negative 25% target defense. Oh, hell yeah. So it's actually been buffed. It's cheaper and it's been buffed. That's great. Uh, it's just a very basic, low-level rune word that I probably wouldn't have made anyway. So it's nice that it's been buffed a little bit and it's a little cheaper. I might make it for mercenary or something. Oh, uh, they say it'd be good for like a, a fury droid or something like that as well. Oh, maybe I should make some sort of hybrid... Those generally suck, but that's fine. Chaos Rune Word has had its whirlwind skill replaced with plus two to blade dance. This is a new assassin specific whirlwind that attacks every three frames instead of four. Oh shit. So it's like uh it's like a slightly nerfed whirlwind. Okay, that's fine. They must have thought it was too powerful or something. To have roll, straight up whirlwind on the uh, assassin. So, okay. It's a three frame whirlwind. You know, because it's attacking less. Just a little bit. I mean, it's it's like, uh, you know, it's like a 25% nerf. In terms of its uh, damage and hit output. Arrows and bolts are now usable on Act 1 mercenaries. I'm assuming there's rare arrow and bolts now. We'll find out. Loot dropped from flying monsters into the void will now land on the nearest available surface. And this is great. Uh, I kill that shit all the time. Little ghost things. I kill them all the time when they're uh, over the void. And, of course, then they don't drop anything. What really sucks is they have a higher probability of dropping runes, the ghost things, the specter things, or what do you call them? Uh, because jewelry... No, they can drop jewelry, can they? Um, armors and they can't drop armors and weapons so it simply eliminates by process of elimination they have a higher probability of dropping runes so that's that's good to know you can just kill that shit without worrying so much like even in the river of flame on the way they can fly over the thing and you kill them and uh, they just yeah they just go bye bye and any item they would have dropped just goes bye bye Flying monsters. Holy Light no longer has a cooldown at any level to allow early healer pallies to be more viable. Doesn't that do a ton of damage? No, that's Holy Nova. Okay, that's Holy Nova does a ton of damage. It's GG. I think it does have a cooldown. Added a new Act 5 Mercenary. Uses Whirlwind, Battlecry, and Battle Orders. Yep, and I showed you guys that. This Mercenary has no aura, however. Okay. We plan on having a new site for Season 5 that will automatically parse items from your account. Oh, hell yes. I heard about there's a trading thing. That's all I heard was there's some trading thing in PD2 Season 5. 
Holy, holy told. We plan on having a new site. I'm gonna read this shit again. For season five, that will automatically parse. I don't even know what that means. Items from your account. I mean, yeah, it goes without saying, right? What that means. Allowing you to do all the listings on the site itself. Hell yeah. The site will also have a currency exchange. Armory. Armory? What? What do you mean an armory? That sounds cool. The ability to save search filters. For, e for easy future searching of items you frequently look for. And much more. Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, that sounds great. What do you go about? What does parse mean? Do you guys know? Analyze a sentence into its parts and describe their syntactic roles. I asked a couple of students to parse these sentences for me. Okay. <clears throat> There were some teases in this stream. Tier 1 map revealed called the Royal Crypts. Like the sounds of that. Like skeletons. I love fighting skeletons and shit. It's like what got me into Diablo. You fight the skeletons and shit. There's something, there's something elegant about them. You know, they're not ugly as fuck. They're just, uh... They make cool sounds and you hit them. They're like, uh... They're like, uh... They're like timeless enemies, man. They're like fa fantastical enemies, you know what I mean? Blech. New dungeon revealed called the Sanctuary of Sin. I haven't even done a dungeon. I've been scared. Apparently the dungeons, don't they require group play? And like monsters have a ton of immunities and no single character can do them on their own. You basically need group help. Yeah, I want to try it. I want to try one. Hopefully uh, season five will give them a shot. I don't think I've ever even been in one. Anya now drops a random tier one white map on Hellquest completion. So you're guaranteed a map. That's kind of nice. You're guaranteed a map. And I think you find them if you finish them as well, if you kill them. So it'll it'll call it'll enable a, a nice chain of maps for you as soon as you uh, help Anya in hell. Recharge charges such as blink charges recharge four times faster in PvP arenas. Nice. Whirlwind no longer tries to auto attack and on name lock passes back and forth through the mob. Whirlwind, Fist of Heavens, Holy Shield, and Charge will no longer attempt a normal attack when out of mana. Move only no longer stops moving when name locking and instead walks to the location. Flat elemental and poison damage on charms have been normalized at all sizes. Small and large charms have the same slot per slot strength, and grand charms are ten. Oh! Okay. Flat elemental. Wait, flat? Does that mean. That doesn't mean, like, physical damage, right? It just means flat elemental damage, right? Okay, so now when you're, I mean, the large charms, uh, they're making large charms a bit more viable right here. But for some reason, only when it comes to the elemental and poison ones. Normalized at all. See, because, yeah, it's just weird how you just don't pick up the large charms end game In Diablo 2, basically. If you're looking to min and max, you don't do it. Because it doesn't make sense. Uh, because two small charms and their equivalent stats will always beat out a single large charm. Uh, and they take up the same amount of space, you know what I mean? So you don't have large charms, except for, of course, the torch. If you're min and maxing your character. Of course, if your character sucks and you begin, yeah, you grab the large charms, you identify them. Uh, you occasionally find a decent one, but again... Uh, two small charms always speed out the large charms in terms of their output and stats. Uh, then the grand charms, of course, always have their place because they have the unusual stats, like uh, like the skills, for example. That's pretty much what sets them apart, isn't it? And uh, max damage. In, in some cases, I think you can find uh, a grand charm that has like 14 max damage. 
Whereas with small charms, although can't you actually get a four max damage small charm? Or am I wrong on that? Let me know in the comments. I mean, yeah, I, uh, traditionally you'd think the three max damage ones are the max ones. But can you just get a raw ass four max damage small charm with no AR? In which case three of them would equal 12. But again, with the grand charms, I believe you can get a 14 max damage grand charm that doesn't have any AR and shit. They're really rare. But I mean, nonetheless, yeah, this incentivizes us to grab the large charms if for whatever reason you're going for elemental and poison damage charms, which who does that, but... Alright, uh, when you're playing the game, uh, you know, before you're godly and all that, maybe you're looking for that stuff. Oh, hell yeah! Oh gosh, this is great! Okay, there's, there's some reasoning right there. Oh shit! Okay, they did stuff to it! Yeah, they did stuff, no wonder. Don't get ahead of yourself, Ice Boy. Keep reading the notes before you cast too much judgment, dog. Poison damage charms and durations have been normalized to always be over two seconds time. All right, not over two seconds, like maybe three or four or five seconds, but over two seconds time. Pretty sure is what they mean by that. So you're not going to have to sit there and wait for that shit to have effect. Flat, elemental, and poison damage charms. I'm, 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 the flat? That's not talking about physical damage, right? That's just talking about... These like go together. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Have had the level requirements of their grand charms and small charms swapped. Small charms are now unlocked at lower levels and grand charms at higher. Okay. Because that's when those things are needed is lower levels basically. That's when you're that's when you really like uh, grab using those ones. But of course, I'm sure there are some endgame builds who put that shit on, but I just don't know if it's ever optimal. Like, everybody likes those 456 poison damage small charms or whatever, but they just look cool. They make your damage on your charts look good, but in practicality, don't they just kind of suck? I'd love to see a character decked out in them, though. Spirits and vines can no longer be attacked or take damage. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, my God. That's a pretty big deal. So you can have a level 1 Oak Sage and it'll just never get hit? Okay, I like that. In fact, this is great because, I, like I said, I kind of intend to uh, make a droid as of right now. And now I can have uh, I can have that shit out without uh, being annoyed over the need of constantly uh, recasting it. Because it dies. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Infinity and its staff now has a 15% chance to cast level 20 lightning on casting. Instead of a 50% chance to cast level 20 lightning on kill. All right, there we go. On kill cannot proc from spells. Oh yeah, so they had to do that, because uh, who's actually hitting shit with infinity outside of, uh, outside of like the Spirazon build? Well, okay, so this is great. So I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I, I like the sorceress who wields freaking infinity from my testing man. That is just awesome because then you can have a meditation on your mercenary and you take full advantage of the uh, pierce on infinity, the lightning pierce on infinity, which you don't take any advantage of uh, whatsoever when it's on your mercenary. Only the one who wields it takes advantage of that. Um, so it's it that uh, along with uh, the conviction aura, it really just kills. It, it wastes shit. Yeah, infinity rocks. You can have mana shield and then have your uh, uh, the regen meditation from your mercenary, uh, keeping that nice and hot, your mana. So, yeah, it's a very seemingly invulnerable sorceress. It's great. Uh oh, doggo, doggo needs help. Yep, yep, had to let doggo out. Bash, berserk, synergy, but placed with concentrate. Okay. Armageddon, Fisture, Synergy, Removed? Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Armageddon, Synergy is increased from 8 to 12. Hell yeah, this is great news. Because uh, like I said, I'm thinking about making a droid. And I was actually thinking about going Fire Droid. Hurricane, Twister, Synergy... <laughs> this game, PD2 is awesome, man. Because with the droid, you have that gust skill. You can teleport around and shit. You don't just have to wait, like, forever until you can maybe get Enigma and just never get one like what I generally do. Unless I straight up take a hand out. So you can teleport at, like, level 18 or something. It's awesome. 
Is it 18 or is that 24? I can't remember if it's the same as the Necro or not. With his uh, Blood Warp skill or whatever you call it. Hell yeah. Hurricane Twister Synergy removed. Oh, I like that. Hurricane Synergy is increased from 8 to 12. So there, there might be a little bit more wiggle room here. Less synergies uh, to where uh, you can try out some other skills then in addition to uh, your Fire Droid or your Wind Droid in this example. Zenith can now be made in Spears and Polearms. Okay, what is Zenith again? It's that thing that we never use. It's that shitty rune ore that we never use. Uh, I'm going to look it up. Is this it? Ja, Zod, Ort, Thal, Rel. What? Level 8 Salvation? 2 to all skills. 20 FRW. Ton of damage. 200 to 300. In order to use the event, some elemental damage. What the freaking toad? 20 IS. Is that how it is right now or what? I don't really know. I don't know if that's his current stats or what, but it says, uh, okay, no longer, wait, 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 dumbass, can now be made in spears and pole arms. okay. Has friggin', oh, it has salvation, hell yeah. That'll be good, you can put on a mercy and have your res maxed out nearly, depending. Okay. Neophyte rune word added. So this is a new thing. It's just a cheap one. See, it's just... It adds FCR. It gets the two mana per kill from the Tur rune. Uh, so basically, it's a rune word that gives you FCR. You can make it in a globe as well. Yeah, so that's actually quite nice. Uh, that It's it's very cheap. So you can, find, you can get some FCR early on. On your Sorceress, for example, or a Caster Paladin. That's a good idea. Club, orb, scepter, staff. Oh, and a droid is a droid as well. Hell yeah, you can make that in a uh, more good news for my droid that I might make. Because the droid stuff, it gives uh, droid skills, or the uh, the clubs give droid skills on them. Like this one right here gives shockwave. Yeah, so that, that's great news. Because I like to have some FCR on my droid. Uh, runes hell. Okay, okay. There's the stats. Yep, but there's the stats of it. PDR, poison length reduced by twenty five percent. That's nice. Half freeze duration. So these very useful skill uh, stats really probably underlooked, but those help a lot. You know, before it cannot be frozen. It's nice to have some of this going on. And uh, poison just sucks. So I, I love being able to reduce that shit. Oh, and some uh, physical taken reduced by two to five. That's actually quite a bit. Uh, 20 FCR, negative 20 requirements from the hell. So yeah, just a couple nice attributes there. But let me know what you guys think about this season five. Uh, there was there were other streams on. I made another video on it. Check out that video if you will. It's a yeah, a couple weeks ago I made it. But I mean, season five is looking awesome, man. Like they have the stash tabs and all that shit. Uh. They have the uh, the seamless uh, stacking of runes and uh, and craftables and all that other crap. So season five is going to be awesome, and I am really looking forward to it. So if you guys will like the video, subscribe to the page if you will, become a channel member or a patron if you want to support me. Thank you to my channel members and my patrons. May all finances be blessed, and may you have many wives. Peace with you.